Hi lads, uh, welcome to Wallachia. It's not the year 1444, and god that is a stupid flag. But today we are going to be attempting to form the nation of Romania. Romania has uh, kind of uh, quite a few state regions. Uh, we only need three of them, and we have two of them uh, of the three uh, split. Uh, that's this province here, and I believe where's the Bru the Bruja Moldavia. So we need these two provinces, and I can actually form Moldavia. M not form Moldavia, form Romania. Uh, we might look at uh, forming the Danubian state uh, later on, but for now, Romania will do. We start out as a protector of the Ottoman Empire, as does Serbia, as does Moldavia. So it's going to be a little bit of a tricky one, to say the least. I'm hoping that the Egyptians can pull a madness and take out the Ottomans. Um, but my main aim is to form Romania and try and conquer the Balkans, a la the uh, EU4 achievement. Have a look. We start off with nothing but 15 barracks. <laughs> Quite a few. Uh, are we like paying those troops? Okay, they are irregular infantry. 10 and 15 for the Ottomans in most places. 20 and 25. 20 and 25. The Ottomans was actually the first nation I played um, in Victoria 3 and I feel like I could do a lot better of a job now. So I might repeat that one. Uh, because I actually understand how to play the game. Slavia, it seems, also has irregulars. I don't know that we're going to be able to beat the Ottomans without outside. We're going to start out by damaging some relations here. Do you have any rivals? For relations with the Russians. What kind of natural resources do we have? We've got some wood, uh, liquor, tea. We have some, like, decent goods, luxury goods, but we need grain. Potentially import grain. Wait, no, this is the Ottoman market. This isn't my personal market. Oh, I hate this sort of stuff. Okay, we have coal, mine. All right, we have coal, logging camps, and iron. Considering we're going to be splitting off from the... Ottoman market, I think building up a couple of these things is probably a good idea. Iron and logs first, and we've got a coal to start building a steel industry. I think that's probably our best chance given our natural resources. Look at our skirmish infantry once we finish it off. Again, I don't know that we'll be able to... All right, screw it. We're going we're gonna to go military. We're going to try and not rely on allies, because I feel like relying on the Russians is never a good idea. What kind of laws are we looking at? Traditionalism, land pays taxation, serfdom. All right, we've got a lot to do here. I should also warn you that on the second monitor, I've got uh, Ecuador versus Senegal. Obviously, I'm cheering for Senegal. Oh, that was a close shot. Anyway, uh, let's get an educated po uh, populace going. I don't mind a lack of legitimacy. Can't do that because serfdom's a thing. So let's kick out the Orthodox Church. Don't need them. Instantly made life worse. All right, let's just try and get serfdom policy. Are we actually... I don't have a single construction site. Okay, let's do that first. I don't need to be making money at this point in time. So I think I'm going to build up until the point where I have skirmish infantry, switch everything over to skirmish infantry, and then try and take out the Ottoman. But we've got an heir. Our current ruler is a traditionalist commander. He's neutral, doesn't really do too much. Okay. All right, his heir is a traditionalist. I hate how they dress up the kids like they're 40 and already divorced. Go over to iron frame building and hopefully start losing money, which is good. Rain is our main GDP. That's sad. Uh, that reminds me, I should probably do some... Decrease. How do I stutter on that? For someone who doesn't actually have a stutter, I stutter an awful lot. And we'll get greener grass and try and get some people in. We have a million. It'd be great to have some more. Wait, what's the migration laws like? Ah, closed borders. Not much point in uh, in what I just did, but whatever. Taxing tobacco. Tax some liquor as well. Iron mines first, then logging camps. And then we can start to potentially look at things like tools and steel. Because it only consumes wood at the start, but obviously later on it'll do iron as well. Tools are always really useful. So, you know what? We're going to do tools first and then switch over to a steel-based industry. Because I can make steel. Steel tool just gives us more tools. Skirmish infantry. I gotta do this one first. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you research uh, everything in one tier, the next tier is like a lot less expensive. Now 34 months instead of, well, sorry, 13 to 24, 15 to 24 months instead of three years. I've unlocked myself. Oh, you know, I still get that comment every single damned video. Go over to this to make sure that every time we go into debt, we're not accruing interest because. Whilst you can sort of outbuild your interest, I prefer not to, especially at these early stages. I'm talking as if I know everything about this game. Oh, I think the Dutch just scored against Qatar. It's 1-0. Obviously, uh, on the final day, both group stages are played at the same time to avoid collusion. Uh, back, in, back in the day, if a game was pre played previously, and um, for example, let's say you've got uh, four teams in the group, um, one team beats another team, meaning that these two teams that are going to be facing each other on the last day, if they both get a draw, then they'll go through. But if either one of them loses, they'll get knocked out. So obviously, both of them just decide to draw. In the worst um, example of that, I think it was Ghana versus Cameroon, where for the final 10 minutes, they just didn't play football. They just sort of sat there looking at each other. You've got a, a tools shortage. Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. It's called tools. All of the relations that I can with 57, your power projection compared to mine. Yeah, I can understand that. Don't worry, pretty soon we'll be fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and expel the diplomats of Moldavia, and that should enable us to be able to start something against them. Did kind of hope that the Egyptians would have kicked the ass of the... Uh, 
Ottomans at this point. Kind of surprised that's not taking place. Right, there's skirmish infantry. They apparently itself is not going to go through anytime soon. Because I don't have enough convoys because, well, because it means that I spent all that time researching skirmish infantry. I can't actually have skirmish infantry. I want to be able to construct things, so I need to be able to do that for free. So we go over here and we get rid of our construction center. How's our tooling industry doing? Pretty good. Switch our logging camp over to using tools get some more tooling industries all right nine months and we'll have about 40 defense 25 on that front uh yeah they don't have the mobile infantry that i do but they've got 26 looks like oh they've also got they're also replacing their equipment because i don't know if i can fight 150 with 15 because we fight moldavia so i just need to hold so i need a defensive guy which is exactly why i've recruited this guy plus five defense i'll take him yeah I don't want to do that. I guess I'll just not have agrarianism. 44, which one is the one? He's the open terrain commander. Hire him. And we'll give it one last chance to recruit. You're bigoted, but that does give you offense. Woodland combat and open terrain guy. This is the count as. What's Wallachia? You're not telling me what it is. There, there's got to be a terrain map mode, right? Just strategic regions. Am I being an idiot? Or is, it, is there not a, an easy way to see this? Surely you'd be able to tell me. It just says the river. Like most of planes with a little bit of mount. Found a terrain map online. Because it's kind of mixed. Okay, well that means that the, this guy's pretty good. Uh, where are you? Open terrain and woodland combat. Screw it. You sound good to me. Let us retire the mountain combat. Well, I suppose, actually, I suppose the mountain combat guy's pretty... Yeah, we're going to keep the mountain combat. To the okay. So I just pissed off a lot of interest groups. But that's okay. You can command 15. I don't think I have any. I've got some conscription centers. Design inventory. Can't increase anything else. We're not actually going to summon any. Uh, conscription guys. They're just going to make my life worse. Did anyone join me? Okay, the Russians would. Just offered the Ottomans an, an obligation. Okay. They, they decided not to, not to help me against their, uh, their buddies there. Is this a second front? Oh, I was kind of hoping to be one, one front. I've offered an obligation to the Russians. And the Russians have joined. I, I want independent. I can't ask for independence. I've got 17 maneuvers left. Ottoman war operations will do me. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, kind of hoping the Russians would actually put some men on the Moldavian border. They haven't. So I do actually need another general. <laughs> right there. Ooh, actually, what I'm going to do instead is you are going to push offensively. You're going to defend. Should be able to defend nicely because we have better troops. It's stupid that we're um, part of the market. It makes sense mechanically, but the fact that we're part of the Ottoman market. Well, 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 looks like the Moldavians want war. So war it shall be. Okay, apparently they don't want war. We'll incorporate this now. Uh, barracks, some wheat farms, corn plantations, and livestock ranches. Okay, interesting. 100% tax waste. How long is it going to take to incorporate? Yeah, all right, it's going to be a little bit painful then. In the meantime, let's switch everyone over to irregular infantry. Uh, and let's stop paying for things like, you know, the government. Mm. I think I'm going to switch over to iron tools now. It's going to enable us to create more tools, which then enables us to bring out more... Um, iron at a cheaper rate. All right, are we separate now? No, we're still in the Ottoman market because we don't actually get our independence. Let's export some tea to the Russian. Help us make a little bit of money. Our tool's still expensive. Iron is. Let's get some more iron going. Get another construction center going. Bring it back. Switch over to iron frame buildings. <gasps> there was a penalty? Oh, the Senegalese! They've scored! Oh, Africa's having a blinding day. Or oh, a series of matches. Right, hopefully it's bodes well for Tunisia. All right, let's get uh, some road stuff over here. Throw out some national values. And serfdom's been abolished. Wonderful. That'll be the most advanced our army's gonna get for a little while. I kind of want to go for an arms industry. It just seems like fun. Get an arms industry going. Because we're always short on arms. We always have to import them. We have a shortage of iron. Increase the value of these farms. Some harvesting tools going. All right, you oppose the change, but wouldn't radicalize. Do that. We also do need some taxation capacity. And the Egyptians are taken out. Oh, hang on. They, they are taking out the Ottomans, but also their capital has been taken, which means they're probably going to lose this war. What do they want out of it? It looks like they're going to take Aleppo and... They are, there we go. Aleppo and Adana have been taken away from the Egyptians. All right, let's get rid of agrarianism. We're not ready for that yet, apparently. We need to get rid of slavery at some point. It does have quite a significant impact on the landowners. I'll mean the landowners are a little bit happier. Wait, Sefton's been abolished, right? So we can get schools? Can. Let's do that first. Grab our government, the Ottoman market. Shuffle it around a little bit. We'll take legitimacy here. That's fine. And let's get rid of schools going. All right, we're suffering some shortages, iron shortages. My dive is now completely integrated, but they need some government administration. Guiding hand. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll get people to be more loyalists. It's actually good for us. Let's get some central archives going, as well as another construction center. This is actually a pretty decent start. We are flirting with design. Disaster. These tools need more iron. So I think the Ottomans are expanding somewhere. That's why the, all the iron is so expensive. <laughs> mm. The French have apparently yep, entered into a defensive pact yeah, with the Ottomans. We'll see if that changes anytime soon. Because unfortunately, as it, what the hell is that? Who is invading you? Not the mosquitoes, right? No, it has to be the other one. The French have landed troops. Britain is, is has fallen and they're being humiliated. You know, the price of iron just collapsed. Uh, that, that's fun. Right, my economy is moving a bit too slowly for my life. But despite the debt, still can't import from... We're lacking in artillery. Fine. 
get it from anywhere else. Uh, shift you guys over to artillery. Yeah, we are holding. How long? Four. <laughs> we have two commanders, so it should alternate them. Now, one thing we can try and do, the armed forces... Come on, why are you... Why are you why are you unhappy? Very low military wages. That's a good point, sir. We need six more to make you happy. What could make you like me by six? Four to nine. I need you to increase by one. If I include you as part of the government, and then I go over to the laws, go over to the professional army, that endorse the change, meaning that you'll suddenly become loyal, right? And that gives us plus 15% offense and defense. That's huge. I've tried pushing, and I've just not able to. Uh, however, we have killed like 85,000 troops. <laughs> we don't have too much of an economic crisis. So we've got an average of 13 offense, 14 offense. All right. Uh, we're going to need to immediately advance the front. Fortunately, he has no morale after that little offensive. So we're now going to just try and push. He has absolutely no morale. Okay, I don't see us actually getting any wins here, but our defense is huge. It's actually one of the best in the world. Every time we come up against this army, we win. That's insane. Why is that a thing? Look, it's, it's just like if we come up against it, it's just destruction. Raja Mehmed Pasha. And then this guy, look at that. No morale. Just 91 offense. I don't. I don't want the bill to pass, so that's fine by me. Jesus Christ, lads. How many men have we killed? 150,000. Okay, they're pushing us back over here. Oh, okay, and now the front is split. To be fair. Come on, finish, 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 finish. Hit you can't retreat out of battles. Okay. Advance against him because he has no morale. It's just immediate win after immediate win. That's really strange, but it's working. And there we go. Excellent. And with that, we can go ahead and not form uh, Romania because apparently it's still split. <laughs> Okay, so we need to take more land from we need to take land from the Austrians and from the Russians. Oh, and Ecuador just scored! There's a few things to be sad about there. Right, also, we get about 10k from uh, war operations from the Ottomans. So we're going to use that to fund our economy. We can just fight the Austro-Hungarians, which is probably our best bet here. We need hardwood. Uh, sort out these buildings. Yeah, we're not going to need you for a little while. Furniture, we'll use those, but I think prioritizing non-luxury furniture is going to be better for us. And we need hardwood for our logging camp. So that helps with this lot. And then we're going to export our guns uh, and our small arms as well. Export route to the same guys. We have a load of convoys that we could be using. Right, so what are we short on? Fabric's fine. Uh, hardwood's not that valuable. Wait, Senegal just responded immediately. What? How? How? What? I blinked. I was too focused on my hardware. This is why you shouldn't game and watch the World Cup at the same time. God, there's legit not enough hours. For those of you who don't know, I'm uh, pursuing uh, a master's degree at the same time as running a YouTube video that does daily uploads. And the World Cup's here. So I kind of have to multitask. I have to be doing two of those three at any given moment. So which means I miss the Senegalese goal. For God's sake. Like a free kick. In swinger. Oh, oh my God. It's a failed clearance from two of the players right onto a free Senegalese boot. It's a lovely finish there. Okay. So we could export wood and hardwood. And I want to start getting the steel mills up and running, which means we're going to need some coal. And we can stop doing this. I don't need you in the government anymore. I need you in the government. Go interventionism. We'll try to get at least work from agrarianism as much as possible. And we can further use Ottoman war operations. Oh god. Okay, you want me to enact censorship? Sure, it's it's going to hurt you. Next checkpoint in how many days? Oh, it's because uh, I don't have any legitimacy. Yeah, i wait for landowners to stop revolting first. Alright, let's get the landowners back in here. And let's get some work. Kick out the Orthodox Church as well. Need them for anything right now. They did give me a higher birth rate. You have an issue with steel. I have no option to get the steel mills up and running. The 94% chance of censorship being successful. Okay, clearly my people know what they want. There we go, we now have censorship. Then we can put interventionism in place. Alright, we've got interventionism, which is actually really timely, because that means that our aristocrats who are loyal to us, or at least they were loyal to- ooh. Yes, there we go. Well, the industrialists at least are loyal to us, which gives us an uh, investment pool contribution for about three seconds. <laughs> right, and now I need to create, make a demand for steel. So let's switch over. Going to create more of you. you know, that might well be a penalty for the Senegalese. He's, he's, I mean, he's all over him. It'd be a soft penalty, but there is a shout that it is a penalty. We need to calm down on construction again. Never mind, this is not a sustainable economy I've got going on. This is, uh, I'm making 2k right now, but 10k of that is from... Diplomatic Pact, also known as pilfering from the Ottoman Empire. Who do you not like? Oh, you like me. Desirable ally versus you are also considering me a desirable ally. Well, we're going to have to make some tough decisions. <laughs> the East India Company has... <laughs> They've got interest over there. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see if we can get a defensive pact with you. Minus 71. To be fair, don't think that I'll be able to form Romania with just this Russian. Uh, actually, I would. One there and one there. If I can get a defensive pact with Austria. Minus 54, minus 76, minus 91. Okay, so Austria is more likely to help. Export some tools to the Russians, some iron to the Russians, and some coal to the Russians. Hand off to the Austrians. This is going to be the game changer for us. Electricity. I've been quietly increasing our economy. As you can see here, it's stagnated as of late. Uh, the main reason for that is because everything is unprofitable. I've set up my economy in advance, right? So sure, it's stagnated, but I've built 
Motor Industries and Steel Mills. Why have I done that? Well, I have done that for the simple fact that I'm banking on electricity helping us out quite a bit with the, the wooding situation. I don't actually want to enact land and voting, but people are going to revolt otherwise. We have also mildly run out of people. And there's electricity. That's got to be the top of our list. Corner from Ecuador. Oh, there's only three minutes left in the game. There's a Senegalese man running on his own. There's a handball. <laughs> there's some electricity, but we're going to need even more. I might have crashed our economy. All right, we're attempting to build our military back up to snuff, uh, but we're running into the same issues of ammunition. My plan is to build chemical plants and then a munitions plant, and then arms industries. I kind of want to be as self-sufficient as possible. So I've been keeping this landed voting thing going for quite a while to make sure that all of my uh, guys over here are loyal. Screws for chemical plants, we need sulfur. Not many people have sulfur. I'm going to go ahead and subsidize the chemical plant. Kind of a crucial part of our industry. It's costing me so much to subsidize. Jesus Christ. Stop subsidizing because I can't afford it anymore. I can declare an interest. It needs to be the right one, specifically with sulfur. So France has sulfur. It's just France and Britain. How much do you produce? Four, four, a bit more from the French side of things. Okay, no interest in France. Oh. Water some in. Seems to have solved our input issues. And we've got 50 defense, 45 offense. What about the Austro Hungarians? 45 defense. Damn, that Belgian GDP. Oh, right, Moroccan GDP check. That's actually pretty good at 5.2 mil. I was prepared to laugh, but they've done quite well. Right, that's an easy one. I suppose uh, trashing the uh, Ottoman economy sort of has that impact. However, <laughs> they haven't gained more stuff back. But the Russians have creaked. So we've got that Swedish alliance, uh, but we're going to give it. Italians will join us. I'll offer you an obligation for you to help out. Expert offensive planner. These guys have been leveling up in the meantime. You are a defensive strategist, and you are an offense. Our offense is better than their defense, so that's pretty good. Looks like they only have one. They didn't really want to get that, but that's okay, I guess. Time to do an old trick. Yes. <laughs> what I hope I'm right about this. 106 offense. Uh, it's not going to help when it's 6 versus 17. The defensive guy should be able to hold off everyone. Take out the Austrians. Nice. Uh, are you super loyal, yeah? Nice, that's plus 15 offense and defense. Thank you very much. It'd be plus 30% if they had a higher percentage. I can't remember what that percentage is. Ah, it's 20%. Okay. Our ruler is loved. That's nice. Yeah, handily defending the mountains there. That's what we want to see. 84 versus 59. Nice. Yeah, one. Excellent. We've pushed through a little bit and they're not able to push us back because we have some insane generals. That's why you hire them early and just let them sit on the back burner. God, look at the damage he's doing. The two to one. All right, I've kicked out the free trade party and I'm bringing in. I don't want to bring in the National Liberal Party. Why would I? Why would I do that? Yeah, I don't care how good you are. Two versus 30 is never going to result in a good uh, result for us. Result in a good result? I think you're a bit more eloquent than that. Mm, that's closer. Got to keep trucking forwards until we get the uh, result we need. That's why splitting up our commanders is quite good so we don't result in that... Uh, I keep wasn't using result. I don't have the issue the Ottomans had. You're not getting through this, boy. Despite the 96 offense. Uh, also, I have seen the Italians not faring so well. We've lost about 20,000 men. Uh, but we kill. Oh my god, if there's 180,000, I'm assuming it's all from this Italian front. I can't imagine the Italians are going to hold out much longer. What the hell are these stats? 22 and 16. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're duking it out with like 45 and 91. We've taken the province we need though, so we can just keep hanging on. Oh no, that's going to result in a lot more troops arriving. But probably more attrition. This split offense defense strategy seems to work most of the time. Oh, and the Prussians are coming in from the north. German leadership, they're making a play for it. Wait, Wallachia's might contribute to the formation of Germany. 98, there's minus 100. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we can go ahead and form Romania. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful color. Now it's just us against the French. Oh, I put French war operations in. They don't want a white piece. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, we're being blockaded by the French. Wonderful. Yeah, I can't white piece them because they want a treaty port. Okay. I guess my country's gonna starve then. What do we have in here? Government administration, a steel mill being subsidized, um, cooling factories being subsidized. Last, this is all actually really valuable stuff. Again, I really think they should incorporate uh, cores into this. I, I don't know if it makes sense. Feel free to disagree with me in the uh, in the uh, in the comments. Oh, radical Australia, Australia, Austria is a thing, and the Prussians are now fighting the. Russia. Dude, we're actually on our way to forming the Danubian state. Let's uh, improve relations with the Prussian support. I can't fight them because I have a truce with Austria. All right, we're out of that war and uh, hopefully our industries will recover a bit now. All right, we need sulfur. We need dyes, explosives. We're going to need a, a bigger port to finish with clippers. All right, we need more clippers. We still have a trade agreement with the uh, Austria, with the uh, Russian market access. Oh, the Turks over here. That makes sense. All right, considering we're making a lot of money off of uh, war operations, let's just expand our economy a bit more. So what's the Prussians doing now? Uh, okay, they kicked out the Austrians from that war. So they're fighting the Russians on the basis of German leadership and opening the Austrian market, which I think they did. I right, don't need to enact this anymore. Bill can't get rid of slave. I don't want to put you into government anyway. And let's see if we do some stuff that you'd like. The National Liberal Party. What do you guys want? Radicalize the landowners. 
That's upsetting. Well, not for me, for the landlord. See all the little pockets of Austrian resistance here. I wonder who's winning this. Because sometimes, um, if they get locked in like 50-50 and neither one's going to capit- Oh, what? No, I just kicked your ass in a war. Uh, sometimes if it's 50-50 and they're sort of locked in a stalemate, uh, they're just locked in there forever. What? No, why does everyone want me to become their protector? I'm ranked 16th. My armies are better than yours. Are you a great power, Ottomans? Who are the great powers? Austrian radical Austria is. I need a great power so then they can recognize me as a power. I think I need to be one of these powers first. Unrecognized major powers. There we go. <gasps> the Confederates? I've never actually seen the Confederates in this game. They're peace. <laughs> and they definitely have slavery. All right, slavery's been banned. Wonderful. Our economy's jumped up to the number 11th worldwide. It seems to be finished with their war. Huh, our standard of living is actually pretty good. Oh my god, the French. They're being invaded by the British. What's this in aid of? They're trying to subjugate Oman. Oh my god, they're gonna get, they're gonna get French war reparations. Oman's about to become the richest nation on earth because that's the number one GDP you're taking down. Oh, the Russian, the Prussians and the Russians are fighting again. Oh god, they're fighting the Italians as well. Do they back down? Nope, they're fighting. Uh, 1665, damn. Shrapnel, that's what it is, the shrapnel. Do I already have shrapnel artillery? Ah, I can't have peasant levies. Okay, I actually do need professional armies now. I'm gonna start kicking out some of these guys. The army have served their job well, but I need legitimacy now to make sure that the army can get perfect no i can't do that i need i need them in damn it what a mistake that was uh who can i kick out need the liberals in free i can get the free trade party oh god 30 defense and 25 offense i'm about to take constantinople oh everyone wants proportional taxation let's absolutely do that we've urbanized Got ourselves some loyalists from standard living please god please we're running out of people we need more people i know we can get some people oh god the russians are at it again we want to puppet morocco and morocco wants independent they're a protectorate of uh austria you've got a defensive pact with portugal though i see portugal's in the war yeah looks like austria is losing that oh god austria yeah, and then we have proportional taxation uh i don't know what we do with our extra money we'll just give it to the people drop our taxation what other laws do we want Ooh, electric sewing mill thank you very much all right i think i just crashed our economy electricity and hardwood Ooh, we don't have the people to staff uh we need to switch over our industries to reflect that yeah it's water tube boiler stuff it means we're gonna have fewer i mean as few people working as possible to be honest all right i've shifted around my popular so they should be able to now staff these uh which need more electricity and more tools yeah, this should provide enough electricity and we have enough peasants to be able to, to actually like be employed oh wow we're uh, a, a major power i built a bunch of um prestigious buildings i suppose the arts academy stuff and i suppose people are actually marching in and, and increasing our prestige I'd, I'd never done that strat before but apparently it increases your prestige such that you become a great power so now i need to fight a great power in order to get them to recognize just sort of frozen oh, okay uh, wait, the Austrians are fighting the Russians. We can actually export dyes ourselves now. All right, bit of a gamble there with the economy, but it seems to have paid off, mostly. We just need more fertilizer now. Okay, and chemical plants going. GDP of our capital is number two in the world. Excellent. Our people live good lives, and the average current is uh, number two as well. Norway uh, thrives, but it's fine. What are we lacking for our people? We need ammunition first. We're higher right than the Ottoman, mainly because of our GDP. Import from the French. Actually, I can support more declared interest, which I haven't done. Uh, where do I need things? That's probably a good place. Interest in the Balkans, obviously. Don't need an interest there. I want an interest over here as well in Anatolia, so then I can try and take Constantinople. I've got zero legitimacy. Austria's a great power. I kind of want to kick them in the teeth a bit. 422. The visions he's got. Same strat worked last time. That's why I wouldn't work again. 95 offense. Might put these guys up here to... The same level. I uh, won't use them immediately, obviously, because they're going to be suffering from uh, having their stuff switched over. And then uh, we'll use them in about 11 months or so, just to give us a little bit of a push. We need those war operations, central Hungary. People are leading against me now because uh, that's going to generate quite the bit of infamy. I'm not able to get you to recognize me, am I? Dude, the sheer amount of attrition you're about to suffer is kind of upsetting. I don't think I've ever seen it before where the uh, uh, I've got more offense than defense. I've just got to wait for the right battle. No rush. <laughs> 112, the highest defense in the world versus 34. Yeah, I, I think we got this in the bag, boys. At least when it comes to defense. Uh, we are going to have some input shortages because we were trading quite heavily with them. I think a lot of people are going to be unhappy with what we just did. Radical rock. Okay, I'm just having a revolution. Yeah, we just don't have any people. Or five dudes, five peasants. That's it. All right, we've pushed forward a little bit, actually. Uh, 81 defense, that's a lot lower than I'm used to. <gasps> That's why. Uh, he died, he died, he died, he died. Stalwart Defender. We'll take you. This guy's pushing on his own, though. What kind of traits do you have? You've got 112 offense. Do you have any defense? You don't have any defensive tech uh, stuff. So that kind of uh, hampers us a little bit. All right, we pushed out a little bit more. Again, I just rue the day that it uh, separates into a bunch of different... You're going to push into our state there, it looks like. Our convoys are being raided. That might be the filthiest battle I've ever seen. We lost 2,000, but we killed 23,000 and wounded with 67,000. This was 100,000, that one battle alone. 120... Oh, that's why I had 203 guys in that battle. God. He's lost 230,000 men. Oh, my God. And, and, our, and So basically, 500,000 casualties to our 60,000. <laughs> 
record. Oh, there we go. And thus, it is done. Uh, and they can stop raiding the hell out of us, which really hurt our economy. To the land. I think that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we finish today. Uh, we are ranked number ninth. Um, tip these guys to be a great power because it's us versus Spain, really, to claim that spot. Um, I kind of wanted to conquer the Balkans, but I think this is a nice fitting end uh, to all things. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot more fun than I expected it to be, to be honest. Uh, and there's also a lot more rebellions than in previous uh, editions. And I've never seen the Confederate States. I've played this game a lot, uh, a couple of hundred hours at this point, And that's the first time I've ever seen the Confederates. So that's rather strange to me. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. Next time I kind of want to play as Austria, because there's a couple of tactics I really want to see if I can just sort of dominate Europe. Um, as the Austro-Hungarians. Because you can form Austria-Hungary, but it turns you into like this weird orange color. It's horrible, but that kind of means I want to show it off anyway. So if that's of interest, please make sure to like and subscribe for more of this kind of content. If you don't like this kind of content, let me know in the comments down below what you want me to make, and I'll be sure to get right on that. See you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.